Okay, so um, again, it might be an idea. Pause the video now, have a look at the question, have a go at it on a bit of paper, and then play the video through to see how you did. So let's have a look at this question. Write an algorithm in pseudocode. Ask the user to enter how many times they'd like to enter a number. Then they enter the numbers. So let's pick this question apart a little bit. So we've got an input here. And we're going to have a loop because we need to ask them how many times they want to enter a number. Now, um, initially we don't know, but the user does. So whatever they type in is going to set the condition for the loop. So we will actually know how many times this loop is going to run because whatever the user enters. So we can use a for loop for that. And whilst we got, we got another input there for them entering the numbers. I think that's it. There's no processing here. So um, let's go ahead and first of all, ask the user how many numbers they'd like to enter. And we'll input that as the variable numbers. We need to declare that as an integer. We can now use that to set up our loop because nums will be 50, 100, 1,000, 10, whatever it is. But we can use that as a number. So our for loop structure will look like this. For i assign 1 to nums, nums will be a number will be an integer because we've actually set it up as an integer there. Uh, inside the loop we need to uh, ask them to enter a number and input that number so I've set that as a variable number and we can go ahead and declare that. And uh, we've done everything, we've, do, we've done our uh, input how many times they want to enter the numbers, we set up a loop and we've input a number inside the loop. Last thing we need to do is to finish the for loop structure and that's it. That was a nice quick one, but it's a, it's a uh, really useful technique where you're asking somebody, well, you know, if it was a teacher, for example, how many pupils do you have in the class? And they can enter that, and then you could use that to set up your loop. Right, thank you very much. Uh, on to the next question.